Well, there are around 200,000 closed-circuit televisions in Britain, and 500 new cameras are added every week. They're everywhere, from city centres to company car parks. Now researchers at Reading University are working on a new surveillance system designed to tell not only who's around, but also what they might be planning. Jane Goddard has been investigating. Closed circuit television, controversial. Tracking devices, even more so. Put them together and what have you got? Well, the principle behind a new surveillance system and a civil liberties nightmare. A joint research project between Leeds and Reading Universities, and the system is being developed as a device to keep an eye on car parks. Professor Keith Baker says the computer has to be taught to recognize things. We have to provide the computer program with knowledge about the objects we wish it to recognize and the scenes in which it is operating. So we would want to build a model of cars or buses or lorries or aeroplanes or whatever the computer system is expecting to recognize, build that in the computer memory and then provide a mechanism whereby the computer is able to use that knowledge to recognize objects in the scene it's looking at. The car is recognized by the computer almost as soon as it enters the car park. The green line is the car template it's working from. The computer takes a little longer to recognize the van. The people are being tracked too. This is normal CCTV, a camera mounted on the wall and a security guard inside watching a bank of monitors. Perfectly okay, but it does rely on the security guard looking up at the right moment to spot any suspicious behaviour. The beauty of the new one is that it will set off an alarm if anything suspicious goes on. The difficulty for this tracking system is working out what is and what isn't abnormal behaviour in a car park. Going up to your car, getting in and driving off quite normal behavior in a car park. Walking around cars, spending a bit more time, having a good look, well, the computer just might pick up that that's something suspicious. It'll be some time before the system is ready to go into production. But watch out. When it does, it could be used for anything from watching cars to tracking terrorists.